What's going on, everybody? We have a ton of people who are hopping on today. So we're going to give it just a minute or two to let folks come in because this is, I believe it's the most registered for webinar we've had. Um, man, I'm just seeing hundreds of people pouring in right now. This is wild. Um, let's get these, let's get the chat lighting up, everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from. Let us know what you're looking forward to, why you joined this webinar. And uh, what's up? We got some folks from Michigan. Who else is here? Germany. Germany, DC. We got an international audience. Heck yeah. Man, oh, they're just flooding. This is super exciting. How's it going, guys? What's up, everybody? This is JR, in case you didn't know. We're going to do a full introduction in a minute, but I want to make sure everybody who is trying to get on gets on. Man, the comments are going so fast, I can't even yeah. read them. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to keep up. <laughs> we got some Mexico. Okay, we got California. JR is in California right now. I see a Texas. Yeah, That's yeah. where I am. Another Dallas, Texas. I was just in Dallas uh, two weekends ago, and it was incredible. I loved it. Dallas is a cool city. Oh, we got Ronnie's in Austin. Austin. What's up, Ronnie? Awesome. Down the street from me, probably. Cool, y'all. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, this is going to be, I got to be honest, this is probably the most excited I have been for a webinar. Um, JR is absolutely amazing. And I know he's going to be teaching you guys some super valuable stuff right now. Um, when we dive into it, I'm actually going to launch this poll that we put together just to get a, get a feel for where you guys are coming from. So let us know if you're seeing this. Let's start getting some votes in here. Um, Cause before we dive into design and Facebook ads and, and kind of what tools you can be using to, to help yourselves out to get this stuff going. Let's see. Okay. So trying to find out how, uh, if people have done Facebook ads before, if they've used relay that before and what kind of business they're in. And we got these poll answers flooding. JR, are you able to see these results or not until I end it? We're going to just keep it going for another uh, minute or two. Yeah, I can't, I can see it at the moment. Okay, so it looks like we're, the, man, I can't believe how many people are on here. Um, awesome. So about 70% or so have run Facebook ads before, 30% oh. haven't. Um, let's see if people used Relay that. Um, yeah, about 50, so about half of the people haven't used it. Uh, about 40 people have used it a little bit and 10% have used it a lot. Um, and I imagine on. when I publish this, when I end the poll, you're going to get all these results. And then in terms yeah. of what business they're in, let's see the majority. Okay. 50%. This is interesting. 50% is founders doing it all. 21% mm. is digital agency. 20% is just like general marketing and advertising. And then another 10% or so is uh, in-house designers or ads. Um, this is great. Very cool information. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, uh, let's see, are people still? Still writing in. Still writing in. Yeah. Lots of folks. What's up, London? How's it going? South awesome. Africa. I'm gonna end the poll. That's Let's amazing. see if everybody can see this. Can you see this? Uh, share results. Oh, there, there we go. go. So that's where we're coming in at. All right. Yeah, it looks uh, like those stayed pretty consistent. So the majority of people on here have run at least a little bit of Facebook ads. Um, they mostly haven't used Relay that before, or if they have. Um, just a little bit. So about 90% of people are like, not at all familiar, or a little bit familiar. And then uh, most people are either founders, digital agencies, or general marketing. Super cool. All right, we're going to stop sharing. Um, also, yes, let us know is the is the audio and the video and all of that stuff coming through clearly. Um, let's see. Yeah, Everybody, audio is good. Seems clear. Yeah. Looking good. Awesome. Awesome. All right, let's, uh, let's start getting started. So I do want to let everyone know, um, you should consider yourselves lucky if you are on this webinar because we had so many people sign up that we were maxing out our Zoom account. So um, super cool. This is, this is the most, like I said, the most signups we've gotten for a webinar. I think that just is a testament to how powerful designs and ads can be. Um, J, JR and I were just talking before we went live about how design is really one of those things that can really hold you guys back when you're starting a business, when you're trying to generate new customers, more demand, things like that. Let, let us know if you kind of share that sentiment, if kind of designs and ads is one of those things that really keeps you back. Cause you can have a good idea. You can set up maybe a landing page and some copy and some email, but really being able to create designs that convey your company, your brand promise, what you're trying to get across. I mean, there's, this can be, you know, that sticking point that stops you from taking it to the next level, which is why we're super excited 
about today's webinar. Um, to give you guys a bit of a, a bio on JR, I'll read this for you right now. So he's previously worked at Live Nation in House of Blues, operated his own e-commerce company, USC, and then transitioned to a digital marketing agency where he, he was the head of design for several multi-million dollar companies. Some of his biggest brands he's worked with include Home Chef, Yoga Club, Fab Kids, and now AppSumo. And yeah, JR, if you just want to go over a little bit of what our backstory is and how you got connected with us, because at least from my perspective, we started working together a little over, I think, beginning of 2017, or I guess yeah, like, 2017. you know, 2017, yeah, I think it was in June 2017, right when yeah. we, we had spent a few months trying to kick off ads on AppSumo because we noticed the majority of our revenue was coming through email. And we wanted to diversify that a bit and play around with Facebook ads and kind of the motto that we always work with, but I'm sure you've heard a ton. It's kind of test and invest, like test it out awesome. in-house doing it, you know, ourselves, see if we can get it to ROI. And then if it does or when it does, ideally, then we kind of bring on more people to help grow that team. And then you were kind of one of those first people that helped us grow it. So what is, what is kind of your memory back then? Oh man, like it was kind of like a, a pretty awesome moment for me when I, when someone from AppSumo reached out. First, I was working with Jack, and Jack was like, hey, you know, I'm working with this company. It's pretty cool. Uh, I want you to kind of help me out and work with us. So he, he connected me to a member of the team at that time, and then everything went from there, and it was pretty awesome. Yeah. Like, we started working, creating some Facebook ads, and it, it got the ball rolling. Um, mm -hmm. Everything was doing well, especially because we started off with the, a lot of the creatives, um, uh, a lot of new initiatives that we didn't start yet, but then um, at that moment, it was, uh, it was, it was awesome. Yeah, and, uh, and you mentioned Jack. So for, for people on here, we actually did a webinar with Jack. So Jack runs the actual Facebook ads for our company. We've been working with him basically just as long as we've been working with JR. I'm actually going to post this in the comments. I recommend you guys – oh, I just sent it to panelists. Let me adjust that. Um, all panelists and attendees. So this is the YouTube link, um, and you better stay on this webinar – but I recommend watching this after because this is with Jack. We did it. Uh, Christy did it about six months ago, a year ago. Maybe you guys attended that one when we did it. Um, but there's some great content in there about how to actually set up your ads. But today we're going to be diving into how do you actually create those ads. But definitely recommend Jack. Jack and JR, man, we, we couldn't count ourselves any luckier for having the two of them on our team. It's, it's been a game changer. So definitely recommend that one. Um, Let's see what else to, to go over before we get started. So yes, see a lot of you asking, there will be a replay. We are going to go through a ton of information. Um, so we're going to get that replay out for you. Um, Deborah, we're getting on Deborah. with it. We got some <laughs> stuff to cover before we dive in. I know you're excited. And so, yeah, we'll get that replay out to you guys. And then there will also be, if you have any Q&A about design specific things, hit those in the Q&A box. We're going to be going through that. And special surprise, we also have Craig Carpenter, who is the CEO of Relay That. He's going to be in the comments too. So if you have specific questions about Relay That, um, anything along those lines, feel free to ask those uh, in the comments. And Craig's going to be in here helping us out as well. But for design specific things, then go over to the, the Q&A and JR and I will circle back to those at the end of the webinar. Um, to give you an overview of what's going to be going on today, we're going to go over some design principles and best practices why creatives are important, then JR is going to walk through how to actually use Relay That to create your ads. We're going to dive into that tool so you can see what's going on, and then we'll circle back to the Q&A. The last thing I will note before Deborah gets mad at me and we don't, we don't get going, um, last thing is we have a special contest for people who are actually on this webinar, so you got to stick around till the end, but if you, if you registered and you're on the webinar, I'll be sharing the details of that for you. So if you are looking to get your Facebook ads and your designs kicked off, this is going to be a great place to start and we'll give you guys a nice little bonus for the, the winner of that. Um, but now I'm going to turn it over to JR before the people in the comments kill me. What's up JR? Uh, Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Awesome. All right, guys, we're about to get started. Um, thank you guys for having me. Really excited to get this going. I know Deborah was really, <laughs> <laughs> she really wanted to start this as soon as possible, but all right, I'll be sharing my screen. Awesome. And I'm going to turn off my video for the time being. And uh, let's, uh, let's right, see, guys. cool, looking good on my end. All right, guys. Let us know, oh, everyone can, can see the slides that JR has pulled up. Oh, let me make sure that I see everyone's comments here as well. Yep, looking great. Okay, cool. So, um, usually create amazing ads and um, 
the tools and strategies to create ads separately. Um, here, we go over to table contents. Basically, we'll be focused on the ad creative. So we're not going to be going over the um, Facebook ads manager and all that stuff. So everything will be mostly focused on the ad creative here. Um, so I, I saw some people earlier were talking about the um, some questions regarding the Facebook ads a little bit more in depth about that. But um, this will be again all about the design. Okay. Awesome. All right. So next up. So here's a, it's what I, I do want to say is we will be sharing out this slide deck later. So I, I see some people asking that. So, so JR is going to hook you guys up. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. I see the chat here now. It was kind of fitting earlier. All right. So um, first off, creative is king. Um, you, may know, you may understand that like, hey, you know, copy is really important, but also creative is really important as well. Uh, one of the reasons why is that um, based on a few studies, 56% um, of a brand's sales lift from digital advertising can be attributed to high quality creative. Um, this was some data that they pulled in. Um, you could read a little bit more about it over here in this PDF. And also um, this was from an article from Facebook. So again, um, it's really important. Um, one of the, why is it important? Um, you'll see that for the past few months here, um, especially on Facebook ads, earlier this year, Facebook ads show in the copy that it's on, that's shown on ads. So it used to be seven lines, now it's only three. So it makes it really more important to have the ad creative um, to be thumb stopping and also, sorry. sorry guys, I'm a little bit nervous. I know there's, got, there's a lot of you guys here, but thank you so much again for having me. Hey, everyone, let's give JR some love. Tell him that you're <laughs> super excited about this because I know I'm stoked. So let's get, some, let's get some positive comments going in here. Give him a, there we go. Hell yeah, people are pumped. You got this, man. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> thank you, guys. All right, so uh, again, moving forward. And all right, thanks, you guys. Thanks for all the love. Awesome. So again, um, this really puts a lot of importance for the ad creative, especially because it's, it came down from seven to three. So especially when you're scrolling down the ad um, on your Facebook feed, you really want to create a pattern interrupt. So while you're creating the ad, make sure that um, you ask yourself, how do, how do you create a pattern interrupt, right? So here's an example of a pattern interrupt. While everything's kind of pointing down, um, you'll see in your Facebook feed, everything looks the same. You want to create something that stands out from the rest of the feed. Um, so again, other than having like an amazing offer and copy, um, you want to make sure that you have the scroll stopping imagery, um, something that unexpect unexpectedly uh, catches your attention. You'll see here, right? Um, you'll see a lot of ads as well on your Facebook feed. Um, you'll notice those red little circle dots um, or red images are kind of highlighted with a, like a, um, a red pen. Um, those are more like clickbait, but that is a perfect example of the pattern interrupt. Boris, it's pretty hilarious. All right, so next up, we're gonna go over the preparation. All right, so um, again, the first impressions are always really important, especially because it is a Facebook feed and you're promoting your own webinar. Um, so a good quality headshot is always important. Um, I know a lot of you may want to stray away from headshots, um, mean because you want to stay behind the computer, you want, you don't want to show your face. It's more of a, like a Gen X thing, um, mostly the newer like generation, I call that the YouTube generation. They want to be like, they're more comfortable on screen. So like a millennial like me, I'm not that comfortable, but um, the people like the, the upcoming YouTubers, they're always like upfront, they're really um, vocal and they're always in front of the camera. So they're more comfortable about that. So you kind of need to step outside that box and be more comfortable with, um, your audience so take a take a headshot um it's always ha it's always important to have a human touch on your facebook ads because we're designed that way like we're meant to interact from one one face to another and by having a okay so oh, with a dog yeah you can have a dog actually um if you want right so yeah we're wired this way on um, especially i mean if you look at psychology with human beings like when we talk to each other we look um, we look at each other eye to eye so we kind of want to have this trust um, in the ad as soon as possible. So that kind of goes into your branding as well, right? Cool. Um, all right. So it adds a personal connection. Here we are with some random person that pulled from the web. 
Um, but again, and for the prep work, you want to be resourceful. Um, a lot of the times people are kind of like this holds them back being like, hey, I don't have professional photos. I don't want to put my image on there. It'll be pixelated here and there. But you could take it with your phone. Like if you have a phone, you could take it with clear background and, um, and shoot it, right? I mean, you don't want to do a selfie where you're holding it, but it's all, it'll, be, it'll be great to have another person behind um, to help you out, have a clear background behind you. And um, you want to avoid complex objects because this later on helps you when you're editing your photo, when you're cutting yourself out from that image. Um, so you, you want to avoid like foliage in the background, complex objects, just to make your job a lot easier. And I'll show you guys another a tool later on how to um, take, how to cut yourself out a little bit quicker. Again, um, uh, um, be sure to have good lighting. And if you don't have studio lighting, it's always like good to go outside and actually get the actual um, sun in your face. Well, not too much time, the harsh lighting, like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. What you want to do is, um, maybe in the before sunset or in the early morning um, if you go to like 8 a.m 9, 9 a.m when the sun when the sun rises sunset mostly the golden hours exactly boris you got it um golden hours to have a little bit more light on your face you know, um, you know it'll, it'll look great so you want to um, take a picture at that time i've seen some people what they do is like they post they put a blank canvas behind them they take a picture so that they don't have to cut themselves out later on and put like an awesome background. Right. Um, also, um, based on a lot of the ads that I've ran, I've ran and also worked with like with Jack, with Chris here and with also Nick, um, you'll be surprised how much like of the mobile content um, sometimes outperforms like professional shot photos. So don't don't be afraid to use your mobile phone. Yeah, so it's not only the profile pic, but um, you'll be work. It's because like you use this image for multi purposes, right? So you can use it for your LinkedIn photo, but also go with um, using it for ads. And again, like what I said earlier about the psychology of it, like we're meant to um, be face to face and talk to talk to each other, right? So um, again, having your face on there, it's it's all about making that connection with your audience. All right, I think someone beat me to the punch here. Um, but again, um, one free tool that automatically deletes your, um, the background of your photo is remove.bg. And it's pretty awesome. Um, this is an example here that I, I did. Um, I didn't pay for this one, so I got the low quality uh, version. Um, this was the original photo at the top right. And this was how um, it ended up. Um, it's really awesome. It does really clean lines. Um, sometimes you may leave some artifacts around the edges and then you could input that in uh, Photoshop to clean it out. But other than that, it does a really good job. Um, you could pay a little bit more, maybe like $1.99 for photo, I believe. And it cleans out the images and you get the high reds. And also, if you want more control, for more of the control freaks out there in Photoshop, there is a new feature that they actually launched to where it's... Um, it kind of does something similar to what um, remove.bg does. Um, you, all you do is select the image and you, what are you, and then you, yeah, so you select the image and you go to subjects, um, select auction tool, you see here, and then it automatically uh, um, selects the image similar to remove.bg. Again, um, also deposit photos, it's been really like helpful for me, especially using like different um, vector elements in the background. Um, like random images that you may need. Usually I use a lot of the um, vector images on there to help me with my design. And also if you need some stock photos, that's really been helpful for me as well. But the good thing about Relay That is that they also have a lot of stock photos and images that you could go into the library and input it yourself. So you don't have to go outside while you're working and look for images. So like that's been really amazing how Relay That um, has that um, feature. Yeah, portrait does really work really well. Um, but my only thing is that um, it does leave a little bit artifacts at the back of your, um, like the side of the faces or the, if you have hair, it doesn't look that great in the portrait phone. But again, it's um, really awesome. Cool, so Relay That. So we'll be going over how to create the ads right now on Relay That. Um, I went ahead and started creating a few of the ads already, but, um, 
So here is the dashboard. Let me know if you guys see the dashboard for Relay out here. Everyone, yes, awesome, cool. So um, right here we have a blank dark layout. Um, I, to go to this, you kind of go from here. And I decided to go with this ma mainly to start off fresh so that you guys can kind of keep up. And also it's, a, it's an intro to relay that. So I won't go too in depth on the ad creative here, but I went ahead and cre created this blank layout. So creating workspace. All right. So what happens in really that is that once you create a workspace, you'll see here at the top and the left side that it automatically generates a bunch of different layouts for you already. So that you don't have to have that um, thinking power or any type of mind space into like, oh, should I, should I design this left align? Should I design this center? Should I design it to the right? It automatically generates layouts for you to get a head start and what type of creative you want. So that's pretty awesome, right? Um, because a lot of times with designers, you're like, oh, how should I create this creative? Like, I'm not sure what type of, you know, design, like, I don't know where to put my text. You'll see instantly here, there's hundreds of different layouts already for you, right? So um, let me go to my the webinar workspace. Oh, we got a head start there. All right, don't look there, guys. All right. So we go here, you click on this eye right here on Relay That. Um, you'll see that these are your brand assets. It, these, this is kind of like a base of like what your design will be. So if this part right here will be like kind of your header text. This will be your subtext. And I went ahead and inputted some backdrops here and also my photo that I did with um, remove.bg. Um, you can see here that you could add different effects to your image like where you could make it black and white. I can make myself have a deeper, more tan, right? Or make myself kind of like an ogre. But um, it's pretty awesome how it automatically has these effects for you um, on the dashboard, green man. Yeah, right. So yeah, it's, and then I put an app single logo here. Again, if you have an app or a website, you could input a um, image of your website on here or like an iPhone, I mean, a mobile view of your website or a web view of your website on here and it automatically generates that when you do go to the um, layouts. Um, okay, so right here you input it, right? I added some design elements. Yeah, it's really awesome, Cindy, it's, it's amazing. All right, so we'll go back to ads. So once you input all your text and your images on the dashboard here and relay that, um, what you wanna do is go to ads and what I, I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, you just usually just want to click. And then once you click, I'm like, oh. And then you see, you see it automatically pull the images and the text that I inputted on this right here, right? So what I just did right here, it created all these ads right here to the left side. Isn't that amazing? So, like, so basically what you're doing to hop in here, you basically yeah. have this like whiteboard canvas, or, or I guess they call it a, the workspace and you input all of the items that you're gonna want in your ads. And then when you go to ads, it's basically choosing all of the different elements and combining them to just create like a plethora of different designs that then you can go in and edit. But instead of you having to individually design 10, 20, 30 different ads, it's just auto generating them from all of the elements you, you've added in here, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So, so how much time do you think that would save somebody? Because I know I mean, you spend a ton of time designing our ads and, and having a tool like this. Yeah, so I mean, if I had this tool like way back then, it would save me so much time. Uh, I mean, you could probably create three to four ads in a matter of like minutes or seconds here, right? Yeah, that's wild. Awesome. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting. Just <laughs> super yeah, cool. Totally. Yeah, it's really awesome. So again, like one of the... All right, so when we go to ads on here, um, let me remove our dashboard right here. All right, guys, sorry, it's loading a little bit here. So we had a question on here about like, how, how do we know like which ones are basic, um, the sizes and whatnot? You'll see here that again, other than what it creates on here, it automatically generates all the different sizes for your hair. So if you need a blog post that's 1200 by 800, 
it already made it on here. See, all I do is click and it'll create, right? Usually for um, Facebook ads, I do a 1200 by 1200 for the one to one ratio. And again, bam, it automatically creates it. I just save it as PNG and upload it on Facebook or send it to our media buyers, right? And uh, so also here a question on the 20% rule. Um, really that has this awesome tool that you don't have to go outside really that to know how much um, text you're using. It's this option right here. It automatically sets a grid for you and you can adjust it to where it's, the text only fits up to 20%. So. Because before you used to basically have to use Facebook Facebook's 20% tester, right? So you would have to like download the image, then upload it to yeah. Facebook, and then they would let you know. And then sometimes it wasn't super accurate. And so right here, just all within your designs, as opposed to having to download and upload it, you can do it while you're designing. So if it's too big, then you can just shrink it down. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. So like right here, again, like you want to go under the 20%, you want to make sure it's less than five squares, right? So it, if it's 20%, you want to make sure it's under five, if it's under five, you stay alive. All right, so it's pretty awesome. You can just change it. You can shrink the logo here. So yeah, let's wait a second. So here, one, two, three, four. So right now it's about two, two, it occupies about four, four space. And then you, you could shrink the CTA. Sometimes you don't want to have the CTA on here already, but you definitely need to learn how to kind of use relay that um, to get familiar with the sizing and how to use the software, but it's fairly easy. You can learn this in a few, in one, maybe a few hours, if you have familiarity with some design tools already, it's all pretty much the same. So right here, we, we occupy about five and a half. You could probably pull this on, um, you could export this and test it on Facebook ads already, All right? So we could delete this. So to delete it, you just, Unclick that and it hides it. Yeah, good question about the CTAs. Um, sometimes Facebook doesn't count it. Um, so I'll give you guys, I know a lot of people have questions about the 20% rule and how, like, how to get around it and the problems about it, right? Um, the thing is, what's good about it is that you're able to see it here and adjust your image to cater to that. So let me just create this. So right now it's about four to five. Um, we could probably save this right now. Let's just save that real quick and let's download this. We could do a test. All right, so initially this, you guys, um, for the, So we download it. All right, we're testing it here. And then, boom, the ads, uh, it, it will run, see? Um, right now, I don't know, I'm not sure why the image isn't showing up here, but we ran through with image text, um, check on Facebook, everything works fine. So everything's good to go. Right. And how do people get to that Facebook tool? So to get to a Facebook tool, I have it on the slide. Um, you'll be able to see here. Awesome. Yeah. So I'll go, I'll go over that in a little bit more in depth on the first, especially on passing the Facebook um, text, um, tech, text rule, um, because there are a lot of workarounds around it and also like a lot of helpful tips to get you guys to add a little bit more um, text to your ad than you're supposed to. Um, hopefully Facebook doesn't see this webinar or else they'll shut it down, but um, you guys will be <laughs> ahead of that.
All right, so the shapes actually automatically generates on the on relay that. So for example here, so this is one, right? So we have a square post, you have a YouTube thumbnail. Um, this is, let me go for the 1200 by 628 for Facebook here. Yeah, it was here. Um, all right, let me just go here. All right, so here's another example of the of the ads that really that automatically generates. Again, it's it's awesome, right? Like it just made the yeah, it auto resizes. So again, right here, if you're doing Google Ads as well, it automatically resizes. You see portrait. And see, I already have two options for my design, whereas I only had, um, if I were designing myself, I would only have one option. Um, and within this time frame of like within 10 minutes, I already have so many options of what the possible designs I would need, right? So if I'm not really happy with that, I could go ahead and select another option here on the, here, and you can see again, the different types of ads that you can create. So it's really, really powerful. Um, you, you really help, I mean, you really use um, really that's AI. It's like, again, like what here, Craig is really popping in on here. Yeah. Yeah, so the layers are adjustable. Um, on here, you'll see that, so basically the text elements here are adjustable. So you could resize it however you want, create a one line if you want to make it fit the 20% rule or adjust it again, create it bigger. And also you, you could select my image here. If I want to increase my, you know, increase the size you can and do that. As far as like, um, Craig, you, you may want to hop on there if you're able to like move the layers back and forth. Um, I wasn't really successful in doing that so far, but I believe you can. Um, yeah, so here's another one. Awesome. And again, the 20% rule, that's only for if you're doing ads. So if you're doing this for social posts or things like that, you don't need to worry about that, right? If you're just making some Instagram posts that you wanna send organically to push people, say, to sign up for a webinar or something like that, yeah, definitely. So if you want to do an organic post on social media, especially if you're creating content, this is really powerful for like your content creators. It's if you have a social media team, um, if you have brand assets already, it automatically creates it here. It doesn't have to be a uh, Facebook ad, right? So again, if you want to create something like this for a post, and it also has quotes on here. So if you do have quotes, you could adjust this like, oh, you know, create your own Gary V style um, quotes on here and say, or hustle 24 seven, right? So <laughs> that, that would be kind of like, you could adjust that and make your own like um, social media posts by like quotes and all that. So it's really, really convenient to have a team go on here to join you and create ads as well, ads and also social media posts. Yeah, some, all right, now that's my motto here. So yeah, the auto align tool. Yeah, it does auto align, it, it does help you out. So you could do left align, center align, left align. Um, you also have a choice of all the different fonts on here. So right here right now I have Gotham as my set. It has a bunch of different fonts that you could select. Um, so if you want to do something crazy, you could do that. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right. So um, yeah, let me know if you guys, what other questions you guys have on here? Yeah, so is there an option to add transparency of the shapes? Um, yeah, so if you look here on my image, this is the transparent object. Um, so I took advantage of the, um, by saving it as a PNG. When you do save it as a PNG, you have the capability of um, moving it or adding it into a background element, such as like 
this one at the back right here and having it overlay to create a more like a uh, more depth, right? So you can see here as well, stock photos. All right, let me go over the stock photos real quick on here. Um, again, I, I briefly talked about earlier that you do have selection of different um, stock photos that are available to you. So again, if you, I'll say here winter since winter is coming, actually let's do Christmas. And it's all in your dashboard. You don't have to go elsewhere. Let's go from here. Bam. So now I could create a social media post about Christmas, or if I'm doing a webinar about Christmas, uh, how to decorate your home, you could create this right here. So winter is coming, yes. Decorate your home, right? So now I already have another webinar of <laughs> Um, how to de decorate your home for Christmas, right? So now, JR, what are your favorite home decoration tips for Christmas time? Oh man, um, <laughs> just a bunch of lights and gifts. That's the most <laughs> gifts are the best lights decoration. Lights and gifts, I like yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, cool. So the transparency um, on here, let me adjust this. If I see it great, yeah. As far as transparency goes, I'm not really quite sure. I haven't dived into that, but yes, there will be a replay. All right, guys. Um, yeah, so let me know other questions you guys have, but basically you do, you have all these different um, ads that you could create for you in webinar, um, for your webinar here. Cool. Um, yeah, I think Chris, that's, that pretty much wraps up what um, yeah, man, that, that's great if you have uh, more slides you want to go through we can we can hit those and then we'll circle back to more q a at the end um yeah like we were saying earlier if you have very specific questions that you have about relay that feel free to throw those in the comments i know craig's all over this um and yeah that would be great to do another i saw some comments about doing a follow-up q a with craig to kind of dive deeper into this stuff so that's definitely something we're considering um, right now, we're kind of showing you what you can do, even in just, you know, 10, 20 minutes, getting a whole suite of ads set up, um, which is, which is super cool. I think these look amazing. Didn't take you more than, you know, a couple minutes just to get these going. Um, but then if you do have design specific questions or Facebook ad questions or things like that, that you want JR to answer, add those to that Q and A box. Cause that's where we're going to circle back to at the end of his, his presentation here. Um, so without, without further ado, JR, you are welcome to go back to those, those slides as well. Awesome. Cool. So um, again, what, what the important part here is like, it's all about the prep work. Um, again, if you know your copy, you know the images you're going to use and the logo. If you have a logo, uh, if you don't, it's fine. It's all about the prep work, especially for Relay That. If you have your prep work kind of layered, um, figured out, it makes um, really jobs, uh, really that's jobs a lot easier. So Again, have a good, uh, real good prep work here, and then you'll, you'll have really awesome ads. In one other feature that I actually really like, I think they call it right where your mouse is. If you click those three dots, I think that's where it is. Um, sorry, up by, yeah, is that the magic import? I don't know if oh. you guys have played around with this or not, but basically what you can do is you can enter the URL of your company, of your website, and it will pull in like the brand colors, some of the, some like the main images and things like that. And I mean, I don't know if it's always 100% perfect, but it can be a great place to get you started. So you can get that board filled out. It'll pull in some colors, some logos, some taglines, some images and things like that. You can see this is what it does for AppSumo, pulling in some of our brand colors, some of our photos, and then you can adjust all, it pulls in our text, AppSumo, the store for app entrepreneurs. Like it's a, it's a super cool tool. I remember when I, when I saw this magic import and I was oh, wow. just blown away where now you can just select all these. So say we're doing a, doing like an AppSumo branded webinar. Now we have a whole bunch of them. Uh, of like the color palettes and things like that to play around awesome. with. So just wanted to point that out because I think this is super cool. Um, yeah, Relay That did a great job on this stuff. And, oh, and this before we move on to the slides, everyone, what did you think of JR's designs? Would you click on those if you saw them in an ad? How'd they, how'd they come out? Let us know what you think. Amazing, great, hell yes, 
Defo. Awesome. I haven't heard Defo before. <laughs> oh, that's, People that's, need to throw yeah, that out yeah. more often. Yeah, man. Defo. People are loving them. Made, made super clean, beautiful ads in, you know, 10 minutes or so. This is something that anybody can do. You are a master designer, but I think having people kind of peer over your shoulder as you do this, it may, it really demystifies it. Even for me, I'm always blown away when you turn in the ads and I'm just like, God damn, how do they always look so good? And uh, the trick is people can just be using Relay that to, to get them going, get them quick, create a whole suite of, of ads and designs. It's awesome. Sweet, thank you guys. All right, so all right, moving, moving forward to the slides. Um, again, so Relay that. Here's another example um, that for, for the grid, um, if another design that was, I'm not sure if this works. Oh wait, give me a second. All right. Yeah, you'll see here again, it's another, basically another um, example of how to use the ad. Here it's like a Levi's ad um, that you could adjust and create, right? So again, it's really, that's really amazing in how to create ads here. Very easy. Right. Yeah, so if you, if you own like e-com companies, um, especially if you do like product videos or product um, images, this really helps out um, create multiple ads for that. All right, so next up, we have Drake um, giving out the design tips 101. Um, so this kind of goes on to kind of like the base idea of like w how to design ads in a more of the basic sense. And, um, so here we go. All right. So design tips, um, you want to use contrasting colors and also hi to highlight like important elements. Usually we use contrasting colors to, um, either the CTA, which is the call to action on these ads, um, to get the eyeball kind of like, oh, Hey, uh, you know, this is where you want to click to, or. Um, use contrasting colors to um, create hierarchy within your design. So for example, um, on here, contrasting colors, you want to make hierarchy, right? So the contrast here would be the um, bright, bright background and the contrast would be white. And then it makes it easier to read when you do have the white text, I mean, white background on here, right? So again, um, let's do, yeah, no guess at the moment. Um, when you do, Another tip is like the rule of thirds. You may have noticed this on your um, either iPhone. If you do have a phone, when you do take a photo, it has the grid on there. Um, what, what that does is that it helps composition your photos, but also that helps out in ads. Um, if you position like the most important elements around where the intersecting lines are, so right here, it would be intersecting lines right here, right? And that's where my image is. And then if you look back on here, if you put the rule of thirds here as well, you'll see that the images kind of sit where the intersecting lines is. So um, I had never heard that rule. That's a, but now it all makes sense for every design I've ever seen. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. yeah so like it, it really helps out, especially cause like the way your eyeball is like, you'll see the main points here from here, here, well not here, but and here. So you want my face is located. That's where the rule of thirds is. That's where the most important part is. And then you can see the text kind of sit in between these two dots right here. Right. So again, um, photography, if you do have some photography knowledge or um, if you wanna learn photography, it really helps out when you're designing ads as well, right? Cool. So another design tip. Um, what you wanna do is have like visual cues on your design. Um, here's that example that I pulled from the website. It was from Neil Patel. Um, basically, you wanna provide visual cues on your website. So if you have a text say like on this side, and if I look over here, um, it, and when you look at your Facebook feed, it helps out kind of um, create, it lessens the t amount of time for the person to realize or read the text on your ad. So if I have the text right here and I'm looking this way, my visual cue is like, hey, I'm looking at my ad, I'm looking at the text on my ad, and here's the text. It makes it a lot easier for the person to digest information when they're, when they're scrolling down the feed. Um, so for example, here on a, web, on a web landing page, you'll see that the baby, uh, this kind of like um, tracked eye movement on um, different users. So for example, here, the baby was looking straight and then automatically it went from the baby to the text on the right side. So having, um, adding visual cues to your design really helps out a lot. The, if you go back to here, the visual cue would be these, um, 
leading lines here to point to me and then it comes back, circle back to this part. So again, the visual cues, right? Oh, heat map tool, that's a different one. I mean, you can use heat map tools for like maybe Hotjar. A lot, a lot of different companies have their heat map tools. All right, so for typography tips, um, what you want to do is have things kind of um, left aligned to increase legibility. You'll see here that everything's left aligned. You don't have to hop from left to right, right to left. Um, and it makes it really hard to digest information when things are kind of scattered like this right here. Or if it's right aligned, um, not, and this isn't really like that helpful. For me, I usually prefer left or center. Um, left aligned really, really helps out with ads. And really that, you can see that it either aligns it to left, aligns it to the right here, right, automatically. So they, they're aware of the design principles and they put that in the AI. So it really helps you out. So again, um, if you have text, make sure it's left aligned. Um, it's a lot easier to adjust information. It's a lot easier to read versus having it centered, right, or justified. It's really hard to read in it like this, right? Again, you only have so much like time to get your information across when you're scrolling in the, your Facebook feed. So you wanna make your text legible. Again, um, also av avoid extremely thin and bold, bold fonts in your ads. Um, when it's really thin, it's really hard to read. Um, you don't want to have you don't want to have anyone like kind of like squinting while they're looking at your ad. And also um, the F pattern. Um, this you'll see this in a lot of like websites and also like um, ads. Again, you can see the F pattern here, right? You see the text, the F. Again here, you kind of see an F pattern, right? I mean, I, I didn't design this, but you can see where it kind of takes, um, you'll, you'll see it universally. Awesome. All right, so going back to earlier, a lot, of, a lot of people have questions on, how do you pass the Facebook text overlay test? Um, a lot of times um, you, you create an ad, you, ha you go to the Facebook text overlay test on Facebook and you don't pass it and it, it's really frustrating. Um, but here are some tips on that. All right, so one of the most common pain, campaigns in creating Facebook ads is not passing a 20% rule, right? And having too much text. Um, like what I recommend is to go native uh, and use that tool from Facebook. So here, here's a link that I used earlier on um, passing the ad that we created on really that. Um, I recommend using the native test versus other websites offer the text overlay tool, mainly because like Facebook is the company that approves your ad and they ultimately, ultimately their AI decides like if they should run your ad or not. So what you want to do is um, use Facebook's tool to ultimately like um, approve your ad. So you want to use their tool. You don't use anyone else because Facebook will um, and ultimately decides if your face, if your ad will kind of, you know, distribute to your audience or not. Um, so again, like, even if you think like the creators will pass, it won't, um, earlier on the design that we created and the webinar links we probably don't have here anymore, but, um, I believe, yeah, on the ad that I created earlier, uh, it occupied about like five, a little bit over than five squares. Um, and you, you may think like, oh, it's not going to pass, but you want to make sure that you use it, um, use this tool, and then uh, make sure that it does approve it. All right, so again, always use the grid as a guide, right? But then um, you could also break it. So again, like I said, we occupied about six spaces earlier and then it passed. Um, there's a reason for that. Um, all right, so, so how do you pass it? So here's a, here's a little bit of the secret sauces that I've been using especially creating the ads. Um, obviously having the text occupy less than 20% of your ad, um, but you'll see here that if I did place a text overlay on this, give me a second, let me pull up one, a grid that I have on here. See if I had um, the, give me a second guys. I'm just pulling up a grid that I have. 
created. So here's a grid that I have created. I mean, if I had relay that tool here, it would be really helpful, like right away. But if you if I place this grid overlay tool here, um, I have this as a PNG, um, and then you'll see here that I, ha I occupy more than six, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how did I pass that, right? How did I pass the 20% rule? Um, one of the tips here is that placing images like on a screen usually helps out. Um, it, it avoids like passing the, it avoids like being rejected by Facebook. Um, their AI can't detect it yet. Um, thankfully they can't, but um, you'll see here that there's a text on the logos, the click minded cloud app, right? And then if also, if I put this on relay that, one, two, three, and then four, five, and then there's text on here as well, and then it passed. So if you place objects into a laptop or notebook or a mobile device, usually Facebook um, won't be able to catch it. The Facebook, AI, Facebook AI isn't that smart yet. Um, maybe they, it is that smart, but then it, it, you're okay with it. They'll, they'll let you go. Yeah, so manual reviews we've done a few times. Um, and it, as long as you, again, like you stick within the five squares, you should be okay. All right, so like I said earlier, to avoid the, um, to pass a Facebook 20% rule, um, usually you wanna also angle, you can angle text and then it'll, it'll pass it. So if you go in here, you'll see that the text here is angled. It automatically passes it as well. Here, we place the AppSumo logo, AppSumo Plus, it passes it here as well. And then it's here. And also, um, sometimes Facebook doesn't let you, um, if you're using like high contrasting images or if you have a background with like black and white, um, Facebook will detect that and then it, will, it, won't, it won't pass your ad, mainly because there's a lot of contrast and it will think that it's text. So you wanna make sure that you avoid really high contrasting images um, in your background or the objects that you select, um, you'll get denied for that. I mean, um, these are kind of like just a base um, ideas on how to pass the text rule. But again, these are the strategies. So these doesn't like, it won't guarantee you um, passing the rule every single time. Um, I really want you to go in there and test it every single time. All right, so here's the link um, for the downloadable, downloadable grids um, that you can use on your ads um, if you don't have Relay That. So if you don't have Relay That and you want your grids, um, you can use this link down here. Let me put this in the comment section to attendees. Yeah, so you can download all the grids there for the 1200 by 628, 1200 by 1200, and also the portrait format. Um, that'll help out with the grids when you're creating your ads, if you're not using really that. Cool. Oh yeah, so yeah, I'll send out, um, I'll update that link, maybe on the, on the notes that Chris will create later on. Um, we'll, I'll add the rule of thirds Yep, um, that works. On there. Also, do you guys have any questions on like passing the 20% rule here? Anyone, anyone? All good, all good. All right, so moving forward. All right, so bonus tips. So again, um, this goes back to So this goes back to um, the image, I mean, your photo that you created earlier or that you took and the prep work. Um, what you could do is use, uh, use this tool from Google Vision where it helps you kind of detect your face and provides a little bit more information on like how you appear um, through like AI and, um, and YouTube and whatnot. So if you go on this site and you input like the ad that I created, you'll see that it tells you if you're like, you're joyful, you're sorrow, you're, you're angry, if you're surprised, you're exposed, um, exposed, like either you're 
you know, too much nudity or whatnot, or if you're, if you're wearing too much skin, usually your ads get um, disapproved if you're wearing too much skin. So make sure that when you do take your photos, you're covered up. And um, yeah, so again, th this really helps. So um, you'll notice a lot on YouTube where a lot of people are like surprised and acting really happy and it's not because they probably have an idea of how um, Google um, already acts or other AI and how they kind of interact with ads that you create. So um, you want to make ads that are really inviting, make sure you're smiling. And um, yeah, this is a really helpful tool for that. And it also, it helps you understand like AI technology, right? And when you're creating your webinar ad, um, you want to use this tool to help you out. Um, if, you're, if your um, image or your photo is looking proper or if you need to smile a little bit more, or if you want to appear a, a little bit more confident, um, this will help you out, right? So you can see here, um, my image is 100% confident according to Google, so. Um, that is so cool. I never awesome. knew about this tool and that, that's pretty wild the way the world is moving <laughs> in this direction, yeah. but that's a, that's a fun tool to play around with. Awesome, yeah, it's, it's really awesome. You, um, you could definitely play with it um, using the YouTube thumbnails that we have right now, create a better version of that as well. All right, so um, you could also use some mobile apps after you create your ad on web um, on Relay that. Again, a lot of people are asking questions on like, oh, how do I make this a video or can I make it animated? One thing what you wanna do is um, you could use free apps to help you out um, on, to add a little bit more animation to your ad. If you don't know, like you, if you don't know how to use After Effects or Premiere, um, you could use free apps to help you out. So on here, you could kind of tell, so there. You know, this is an app called Pixel Loop, and then automatically creates a little bit of animation for your ad. So if you're selling firewood or any type of, um, you, you know, you, yeah, firewood, you, whatever your webinar is about, you could have it on here and here as well. So just a little. But again, uh, these kind of, it may appear a little bit cheesy here and there, um, but if, if you want some basic type of animations over your ad and you're not that skilled, skilled yet, you could um, create some little quick animations in your ads. All right, so, and, all right, so lastly, um, I highly recommend to kind of um, always run your test always run A-B tests in your ads um, to find out which works. Um, so always test it, always have feedback from your media buyer of you're doing like ads yourself. If it's not working, try a different route. Um, if one layout on Relayed Ad, if you use this layout, you could use another, lay another lay layout. Uh, you could use a different layout. So test different layouts uh, of your ad. Um, you can, instead of like thinking of like, oh, how should I create this ad? How should I, um, you know, change it up. Um, really, that really helps out, especially with the colors as well. If you go back here, uh, you select a color, it automatically generates a different colorway for you. So in the testing front, this really helps you out. Um, I mean, especially if your brand isn't set yet, this really helps out, right? You can use different colors here. Um, you're already, you're not thinking about, oh, what type of colors do I use? Or so, so instantly creates different brands here. All right, so always test it. Um, and then also, you could also learn from others. If you go through the ad library on Facebook, you could search um, different companies on there. If, whoever you like, say if you like Nike, uh, you could go in here and see what type of ads they run. And you can take inspiration from that. Um, it, it's really helpful to take inspiration from people. I mean, you can't, don't copy, but take a lot of inspiration. Learn, learn from what works. and what you like because what you like may like other people may like as well right so you'll see here but most of these are all product but you know they create ads like that so you get inspiration on different companies on here you can see what they, they're running and you could yeah but i mean you're not doing a webinar about shoes but they're okay awesome all right, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys want me to go back 
and explain a little bit more on the things I covered. I know I went a little bit quick on certain slides, but if you do have any questions on other things or you want me to go a little bit in depth for the time being, um, let me know in the comments. Awesome, that was great, man. Let me, uh, let me pull up some of the questions. Again, if people have questions about designing Facebook ads or anything that JR went through, let's uh, get those in that Q&A box. We're gonna circle through some of those now. Um, but yeah, JR, that was amazing. Getting, let's give him some more props. Everybody in here, if you got any type of value out of this webinar, out of everything that JR just went through, let's give him a big round of applause because that was, that was great. Spent a lot of time putting all of this stuff together and we are, we are super appreciative of awesome. him. We, uh, we couldn't be luckier to have him on our team. I got to say, one of the things that we're, con JR works in LA. Um, you're still in LA, right? You're in LA. Yeah, I'm in LA. Yeah. Yeah. So JR is in LA. Sunny LA. Yeah, it's freezing cold in Austin today. But um, here, I'm going to turn my video back on. There we go. What's oh, up? Me, Put a me. sweatshirt on because it's 30 degrees <laughs> in Austin now. Um, a couple of weeks ago, it was like 100. Now it's now it's in the 30s. But oh. yeah, one of the one of the best things about working with JR is how he predicts our needs. Like I'll hit him up and be like, hey, man, can we get like a creative for this? And then I'll send it over to him like, oh, we also needed this. He's like, don't worry, I already put that together for you. I figured you're going to need it. Just didn't want to, you know, and it's, it's incredible. So he's on his A game and uh, we're super lucky to have him. But all right, I think I'm, I think I'm done promoting you because I'm, I'm awesome. I could go on all day. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. But, um, Appreciate all right, that, let's see, let's see what, what questions people <laughs> have. Um, and yes, there will be a replay. I know a lot of you have been asking. We'll be sending out a replay. We'll also be sending out um, some of those resources that we mentioned. And we're going to be um, sending out JR slide deck. So you can guys can go through all that stuff. Again, we went over a lot of this stuff in Relay That. I know a lot of you already have Relay That, um, but I think, you know, a handful of you don't or many of you don't. So you head over to AppSumo.com slash Relay That. You can pick that up from us, I believe. Let's, uh, let's double check that link. AppSumo.com slash Relay That. And let us know in the comments. Are you, do you already have Relay That? Are you thinking about buying it? If so, did this webinar convince you? I, I imagine it did. I hope it did. Um, but I'm going to post it. Here you go. AppSumo.com slash Relay That. Starting at just $49. Again, this is an incredible tool. You saw how powerful it is. We love it here. Yep, everybody everybody on here apparently loves it. Um, awesome. The last thing I want to go over, because um, I know I teased it a bit earlier, before we go through the Q&A, is we have a contest for you guys that I'm, I'm really excited about. And I am going to post a link to that contest um, in a second, as soon as I can find it. Um, where is it? Who wants to do a contest? People like contests, right? Let us know. What are they saying? Do they like it? A lot of do they want to do it. a contest? Yeah. yeah. Everyone wants to do a contest here. Awesome. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to post it. So let me just pull it up on my end. Send this to contest. everybody. Here is the link for the contest. So what it is, AppSumo's Facebook ad design contest. So as a thank you for all of you guys who've hopped on for this webinar and stuck with us, we are giving away $250 in an AppSumo gift card for whoever can create the most epic Facebook ads design um, in Relay That based off of what we went over. So you, you saw everything that Jer went through. You learned about, what is it, the, uh, the F rule, the rule of thirds. You got the 20% rule. You guys got a lot of stuff that we went over. So take this form. I'll also be sending it out in the follow-up email for you guys. But um, you go in here. You create some designs. We're going to give it one week for you guys to put this together, submit those, and then JR and I are going to be going through them and picking out the most epic one. So definitely to, to encourage you guys to start using these tools, to start creating your ads. Um, again, it's a super important thing. It can be a great way to kickstart your business. I know a lot of people want to do ads. They sit on the fence about doing ads because it can seem really overwhelming. Um, but as we saw today, you can get some ads set up in 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, again, using Relay That is a great tool. It has that 20% stuff built in, has that auto import, the magic import tool, which is amazing. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to finish pitching this contest for now, but again, I sent it, I'll send it in the, uh, replay as well. Fill that out, submit your, submit your designs. We would love to send one of you $250 in AppSumo credits. Wow. All right. So I hope <laughs> you guys like that. 
Um, and again, if you don't have Relay That, you can pick it up, appsumo.com slash Relay That. It's, a, it's an incredible tool, as you saw. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Would appreciate so does the design here. have to be compliant with the 20% text rule? Since we're creating um, ad design, I, I would, Chris, are we gonna um, be compliant with the 20% rule for this, for the design contest? Yeah, let's be, yeah. let's be compliant. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> um, yeah, any other questions about that, feel free to, to drop them in. Um, all right, let's see. What advice can you give us in order to sell the end product, i.e. through the designs? All right, so yeah, so for an advice would be kind of just highlight the product. Um, if you're selling a product, highlight it. Um, talk about the features on there right away. Um, if, it's a, if it's you, you know, highlight yourself. Um, make sure the copy is really good. If you have great copy, make sure the offer is always really good. Um, Jack actually goes over this um, in the link that Chris sent out earlier. Uh, he goes in, into a little bit more detail on this um, if you wanna go through that. Awesome, all right, Sarah is asking, I need to make graphics for giveaways. Can I use a, can I use say a Christmas background? I don't see why not. <laughs> hey, we did, we did earlier. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I know, I know we were talking a lot about using, using this for like webinar ads or things like that. But again, you can use this same stuff for anything. If you're doing, you're doing a webinar, if you have product ads that you're trying to sell, if you have a giveaway that you're promoting, if you're doing some type of special or say 20% off your online store, if you're giving away a free consultation for one of your services, lead gen type stuff, anything like that, you can use these, the same principles of design for. All right, let's see what else. Um, yeah, what are, JR, what are your favorite design resources? Are there any, any websites, any blogs, any, any like personalities that you follow or books that you like or, or anything like that? Um, you know, I take, honestly, I take a lot of inspiration from Netflix. Um, oh yeah, interesting. Yeah, because if you think about it, again, like I, I tend to give a little, a little bit more um, power to AI and how they operate. So Netflix, um, I've, I read this in the past, they actually did a, a test on their, on, their, on their images that they, they use, their thumbnails for the, their movies. So if you kind of learn, learn how they create their thumbnails on Netflix, you kind of get an idea of how to create little thumbnails that, have, that can create like um, users to click on your ad or here and there. But I take a lot of inspiration from Netflix basically because they do a lot of testing. They're spending so much money on creating these little like thumbnails for you, for you to click on and have you binge watch your favorite like season, right? So t I take a lot of inspiration on that because like I am in the marketing and ads. So I tend to look at what people are doing, what, like how successful they are. I look at on my Facebook feed or my Instagram feed. I follow a lot of different companies that I like. I like Nike. Um, I just take inspiration as I go, um, especially on, on Instagram or, you know, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Instagram can be a great place to see some some really high quality ads. And I think what you touched on is also important. Like if there are brands that are similar to you or brands that you really like, you like their design that are that are big brands that you know they're spending money testing this stuff, like follow them, go to their website so you, you see their retargeting ads. You can go through all of this stuff, check your news feeds and take screenshots or clip them, keep, keep a swipe file. I mean, that's something people have been doing forever, whether it's for, for good copy, good design, like keep a file that that will serve as inspiration for you because you don't have to start from scratch there's no reason to reinvent the wheel you can see what's already working and then just tweak that stuff for your own brand which can be super powerful um yeah. this is a good question for you jr um what advice would you recommend because i one thing that people could basically be doing with relay that is starting just like a facebook ads design agency with this like you can create a whole you could spend maybe an hour or less and create a whole bunch of ads that you could be, you could be selling or doing for clients or things like that. Do you have, cause I know you've done, done consulting, freelancing, having a digital marketing agency. What would be some of those initial steps? If somebody's like on the fence, they're sitting in a cubicle, they're like, I would love to break into this. I have some design skills. Like what would some of those first pieces that, that you would say for them to, to get clients or to set it all up? Yeah, so usually a lot of like um, upcoming startups or a lot of like digital marketers when they're starting up is that like, hey, you know, they can't afford a designer. Um, like 
they don't have any, they don't have a source for a designer or they, they're afraid that, you know, if they do design ad, it won't look as well. So that kind of, that's a roadblock for them starting out. So what really that, really that has is that you could just really use their information, use their tool to create ads um, without having extensive knowledge in design or even going to design school. Like I went to a design school for how many years? I'm not going to say how much long, but <laughs> I did go to design school and then it's like, a lot of the principles and the stuff that they cover and relay that it's already there. So um, if you want to create ads, it automatically creates it for you. It doesn't take too much brain power to create the ads. And again, it only takes about 10 to five minutes. You could submit um, those ads as kind of like a first draft to your clients. Be like, hey, these are kind of like the gener general ideas that I've created so far. That may only take you about like what, 30 minutes or so creating different colorways, different um, background images. So. You could have one again. Let me share my screen so you guys kind of have an idea of like what I'm talking about here. Oh, wait. Share. Finder, desktop, desktop. All right, so again, if you want to go back to like, so your client, hey, um, I have these different options for you. Like, or if you're creating a branding guide on top of their Facebook ads, like, hey, you know what? We have different colorways that I have for you. Like I'm thinking about orange and green. Um, also, you know, you want to use a yellow, um, these are different options that you can provide your clients, especially because like, they don't, they can't really think of like, if they're, if they're not design oriented or they don't have design mind, um, this will make you seem like, Hey, you know what you're doing? Like, Hey, you know what? You could go from a safe colorway to, you know, from an orange, kind of like a safe muted down color like this, or if you want to give them a more extreme, you could go down there, um, color palette here on the left, but like, hey, you could try a little bit more vibrant colors here um, as to test on your ads, right? So that'll make you really kind of an expertise on that subject, whereas like your client won't be, right? Yeah, I think that's great. And yeah, one of, one of my favorite things to recommend to people, what, if they're like looking out to, to get clients or something like that, is like, if there's a brand or a couple brands that you really wanna work with, just put this stuff together and send it over to them. Like there's no need for you to, to have to wait around to see if they'll hire you. Like, especially with how quick and easy Relay that makes it to create a handful of ads. It's like, there's some company you wanna work for, you like what they're doing and you think you could help them out. It's like, go through and Relay that, just link out, use the magic import, pull up their brand, get all that stuff together and then put together like, you know, half a dozen ads, shoot it over to them. I had a friend who just did this in Austin for a kombucha company, not for ads, but he did it for copy. Um, and I'll tell his story because it's a good story that just kind of shows how people can be so intimidated by this, but then they end up actually doing it and they're amazed at how easy it can be. Um, so he works at just like a, a startup downtown um, and he wanted to get into like writing copy and things like that. And they get a kombucha company that replaces the kombucha in the office once a week. And he just started writing funny reviews of each kombucha flavor in Slack and sending those out to his coworkers. And then I encouraged him, like, dude, just send those to the company. Like, let them know. They're really funny. Everybody was geeking out over them. And so he was like, I don't know, man. And he ended up sending them over. They emailed him back. And they're like, these are so funny. These are great. Like, let's sync up next week to see if there's any, like, anything we can work on together. So I think, like, you could do the exact same thing. This was three days ago. You could do the same thing with these ads. You find a company you want to work with. You put together half a dozen designs. You send them over hey, I love what you guys are doing. I would love to help you improve. I've done this with XYZ company or this is the plan I would love to help you guys out with. By the way, like you can just see right here what I've already done for you. And then it's just, it's a real easy yes for them. So I really want to encourage That's people, if you, are, if you are trying to get into this, you are trying to get clients or something like that, that is like one of the simplest, yeah. easiest, most effective ways to go about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, on top of that too, like please. you could use really that um, auto-generated auto um, to content on here where you could automatically create like say their social media feed because a lot of times a lot of companies don't have time to create their own content on like instagram you could automatically create a lot of content on here and really that like the like what i was saying earlier with the quotes so you could provide a whole um content calendar using really that either using quotes you can use imagery adding text overlays on different images um, you, you, saw, you could kind of see a lot of, um, if you go on your Instagram, you see a lot of people have um, followers in the like 2.6 million, 5 million, and it's all text-based. So if you're able to provide that service for a company that you see, like your local kombucha company, your local coffee shop, um, you know, like wake up 
grind 24 seven. That would be another quote for a like text, right? On an ad, you could create that for them, create a whole content calendar and you could use really that to create that. Awesome. Heck yeah. Um, okay, cool. One of the things that I'm doing right now for folks is I just invited Craig, who is the founder of Relay That. Uh, so he's going to pop on for a minute before we close this out. What's up, Craig? Hey, how's it going? It's going great. How are you doing? Good, good. What'd you, thank you, what'd you uh, think of JR? Thank you. Uh, you. You guys are both great. And thank you for uh, the opportunity to showcase Relay That. It's really, uh, I really appreciate it. Awesome. No, appreciate you guys sticking around for as long as you have and, and being a part of the AppSumo community. Um, were there any, uh, any key questions or, or things that you saw popping up in the chat that you wanted to kind of address to folks? Um, I, th I think a lot of people have a lot of questions because um, I've found, um, I mean, we have, we have tens of thousands of users that have used Relay That over the years. And uh, as you know, we have a, uh, I have a really great relationship with AppSumo. I love the Sumo links because they're really passionate and inquisitive. And a lot of the questions that they have is usually around um, a lot of the knowledge bombs that you guys dropped of design. And at the same time, what we've tried to create is a tool that kind of takes a lot of those questions out of the equation. Like, it's um, if you think of like uh, when authors have writer's block, we're trying to do that for design. Um, like and it, it truly has become like the I'll know it when I see it tool for a lot of people and removes a lot of that thought process. I mean, if you go into any Facebook groups, you have a lot of people saying, should I use this purple or this slightly different purple? And should I align the text this way or this way? Um, what's the copy that, that I should use? I mean, there's so many different questions around design. And even somebody like myself that comes from a, a 3D animation and Photoshop 1.0 background, it, it's, um, there's nothing wrong with doing something more productive and faster and uh, doing all that heavy lifting so that you have time to create those graphics. So. Um, my point is that like a lot of the questions that people were asking were based around like, how do I do these things that um, encourage like tweaking and spending a lot of time? And we're really trying to create something totally different than every other tool out there that um, requires that. So when you resize something and relay that, you don't have to touch it. Or when you drag in your logo once, it literally creates 2000 graphics uh, immediately. And every one of those tweaks, I mean, one of the things we haven't touched on is what if you have a client that wants to change or made a misspelling and they want to change something. If you've created a full ad set for them, you have to go back and uh, like spend hours changing every single one of those. That literally takes one second and relay that to type it once and change it. Um, and then the other question I noticed is people were asking about some of the other features like SEO. Um, and also like the titles that we have, which we didn't touch on. Mm -hmm. Really what we're trying to create is a way for people not to think too much about the graphics and really trying to follow the path of better, or, uh, done is better than, what's the, what's the quote? Uh, done is better yeah. than, perfect is better <laughs> than, uh, done is oh, better don't, than let, don't let it. perfect be the enemy of yeah. good. <laughs> done, done is better than yeah. perfect. There's so many different ones. I was yeah. trying to figure out which one the one, the, the one was. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's like, you know, there are a lot of features that we're adding. We have an entire roadmap that we are always improving on. And if you ask anyone that's been around for the past year or two, it, we've always evolved it. And we've always kind of tested and um, kind of bumped up the best com uh, converting ads. And we're always asking the community. I mentioned this. We have a Facebook community. We're always like, I, I like to try and think or, or position myself as one of the most accessible companies and founders because we really want to hear from Sumo Lings in terms of how they're using it, their use case, what they really want, what's most important to them. And then we take our resources and we build the most popular stuff. So, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things where how do you automate throwing spaghetti at a wall and making it look good every time? And that's really what we're trying to do for every single brand out there. That's amazing. Yeah. What are, what are some of your, cause maybe I just missed it, but is magic import, is that new ish or have you guys had that for a long time? Um, we've had it since the last release, I believe. Okay. So it's been around for several months. And as you guys know, even that five by five grid, we just released a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, almost specifically for this webinar when we saw that you guys <laughs> were going to be talking about that. And sure enough, people asked about that. So 
if, if that, if, if creating a, a feature based on something that we saw was really important, doesn't show the nimbleness of like a company that can like respond like that. I don't mm -hmm. know what does. And that's really what we're trying to do. Like with our templates, like we've had people say, Hey, you know, like this template set is great, but I wish it had an extra icon and we'll actually go back in and add that icon for the benefit of the community. So we definitely follow the rule of, sorry, I'm getting so, so many of my cliches out of the way, but um, <laughs> you know, rising water lifts all boats type of thing. Yeah. And, and we really, community is really important to us and listening to our users is paramount. So that's something that we're always following and listening how we can help them uh, work faster and better. Amazing. And uh, not to put you on the spot, but are there any things on the roadmap that you want to touch on or that you can share? I would say the biggest thing that we've created recently in the past few months is our uh, enterprise level version for agencies and larger companies. And what that is, it's, it's something we haven't promoted very heavily right now, but it's kind of like, imagine that you have the design tool that is Relay That that's really awesome as it is. We actually have a secondary portal that you can add your brand assets in once and you could enter, like you could connect in lots of different accounts to that. So that's one thing that we've developed. And that was like a, a big thing that we were working on for about a month. And that's kind of released at this point. I would say that the biggest thing that a lot of people want is the ability to add assets into like new assets and design their own uh, templates. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful with that because once you open those floodgates or that Pandora's box, if you will, then you can't resize it. And you're, you're in the same boat that every other DIY design tool is because if I create something totally unique and then I try and resize it, it's just going to look like a mangled mess. So we're really trying to figure out like our, our next feature that we're focusing on is how do we allow users to add something, but then they can still resize it and it still works for, with every uh, template in the library. If that, I don't know if that makes sense, but, yeah. but that's probably the biggest thing that people want. And I would say that the, the secondary thing that we're looking at is when you go into Relay That, it has all of the assets in the layouts already. I feel personally, and, and maybe you guys can speak to this too from a design standpoint, there's many times that less is more and we get a lot of requests of, how do I add four photos and three logos and three pieces of text? And I think a lot of people try and overstuff their images. So if I could have one piece of advice for people is keep your images really clean with a clear call to action, a color scheme that maybe uh, is complementary or, you know, to the, to the channel that you're running it on and use relay that to create lots of different graphics to AB test. Cause a lot of people, I think make an assumption that what their audience wants without testing and asking what they really want. Um, so, I'm, I'm not trying to sidestep the question, but I think I also just want to make the point that we're really trying to make, how do you, how do you make agency level design in the fastest way possible? If you're, and it's kind of like when you're driving down a highway, you only have two seconds to see a billboard and that billboard usually isn't stuffed with a bunch of stuff that you can't even read. Mm -hmm. It's, it's something that you want to, to stop the eye, uh, you know, scrolling or stop the scrolling. Um, and you really only have a few seconds. So I would say, you know, sometimes you need a logo. Like it can just be a really solid message and a really, uh, you know, thought provoking image or something like that. So I would say overstuffing images isn't the way to make it to get shares. It's really the content and the connection with the audience, I think, that gets them to engage. Yeah, no, I love that. And that's, yeah. I mean, we noticed the same thing here with copy. It's like whenever copy's not working, it's usually you're not leaving something out. It's that you're trying to say too much all at once. It's like, just get to the core of it. And the same thing translates over to the graphics. Like JR was saying, there's just that, that pyramid of what actually converts on an ad. And it's like, there's the image, there's the copy. And if you go through and you're like, how can I simplify this where it's still beautiful, still yep. conveys the message. And it does it even more powerfully because of how say limited it is in terms of not scoping it out and just building it more and more and more. Um, I, I think people get, um, they get what I would call banner blindness too. The more it looks like an ad, the more they dismiss it as an ad sometimes. Mm -hmm. So even if you're running a Facebook ad, one of my other tips would be to, um, you know, 
make the messaging feel less like an ad. You know, it's really good to have a, a, a CTA and things like that, you know, but at the same time, like that may not be the thing that people engage with or, you know, gets organic reach either. So mm -hmm. it definitely testing is really important um, as, as you guys probably know as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, my last thing for you, Craig is, um, is the, are those updates and things like that that you're working on? Those are all included in the, in the AppSumo deal. Do you just want to touch on the AppSumo deal and kind of what they get included if they sign up for relay that on AppSumo? Yeah, the, um, I probably shouldn't have mentioned the brand portal because that's actually not part of the deal, but, um, but I just wanted to say that that was a really big thing that we released that makes relay that more powerful just in case someone needs it. However, everything else is included and always has been included with AppSumo. I would say some of the, the best reviews that we've ever gotten are people that have said, you know, they, they really appreciate that we're always adding to it and, you know, that we don't really try and upsell people on things. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that we do have that's different is with the workspaces when people buy those. Um, that's a question that comes up a lot. So just to mention it here. Um, you can always add more workspaces, but a workspace is basically a brand. So unless you are an agency that has five brands right away, your base level is going to be more than adequate and you can always save those and recall them. So active workspaces, uh, you get five of those, but everything else is pretty much unlimited. Uh, the, the designs, the improvements, the features, there really is no extra pro plan that AppSumo people are not getting. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we really wanted to, like we did that right from the start. We really wanted to give people everything they needed right away. Yeah. And again, it's $49 for lifetime ac access. If you can get one client off of this, you're going to be able to 10 X your ROI immediately. It's, a, it's an incredible, incredible tool. And uh, yeah, we're super grateful that we, that we have this available to the community. Yeah, if you, if you uh, just created like four graphics uh, as opposed to getting a freelancer to do it, uh, I think a lot of people just get excited that they can do it themselves and they don't have to have that back and forth email too. We hear that a lot where they're just like, I, I, uh, either I look really awesome to my client or I didn't have to spend as much time. Like those are the two things that we hear a lot that people are most excited about relay that. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, Craig, thank you for, for hopping on. I know this was a bit impromptu, but it was awesome yeah. to get you on here as well. Get you in front of people. And, uh, JR, thank you Thanks, so, Craig. so very much. Um, if everyone in here could give a big round of applause to both Craig and JR for hopping on, spending what was supposed to be an hour, turned into an hour and a half to, to walk through all of this stuff with you guys. It was also great to have so many of you engaged, so many of you hopping on here. Hundreds of people joined us, thousands of people registered, thousands more are going to catch this replay. So thank you guys. Again, the last couple of things, we will be sending out that replay. Get over there um, for that contest. I would love to see what designs you guys are creating with Relay That based on everything that JR just walked you through. Remember all those tips. If you need to rewatch that replay before you do it, um, do that. And we'll be announcing a winner sometime next week. But thank you guys so, so very much. Craig, JR, thanks for joining us. And I'll be thank talking to you both soon. Thank See you. Guys. Take care, thank everybody. Bye-bye.